Good day, my friend. I have a sharp Aquos 32 inches LED TV to fix. It came from our fellow technician here in the same place. Join me to fix this TV. If you notice, the display or picture is moving or flickering, and the picture is upside down. Let's wait for the no signal to appear on the screen and see what happens. The no signal display had vertical lines and at the end of it, there were horizontal lines flickering. My friend, I just have a request. Please don't remove or skip the ads because this channel has just been monetized. Thank you very much. This is the model number of this TV. When I unscrewed the screws, I noticed something. This board is no longer original. It has been replaced with another main board. Maybe this is the reason why the picture on this TV is upside down. I'll just remove his back cover. And let's see what our fellow technician did to this TV. And what we observed is correct. The main board has been replaced. It is no longer the original main board of this TV. And if you notice, its button is already inside. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you'll always be updated when I upload a new video. Before we go to the deeper repair of this TV, Let's first clean its LVDS ribbon flex. Because there are times that just because of moisture or dirt, the picture of the LED TV has problems, and that often happens with sharp LED TVs. I'm sorry because I only use one hand. Because I'm holding my camera or cell phone with the other hand. Let's clean it with just cotton buds and lacquer thinner. Once again, my friend. Don't skip the ads that will appear because this channel has just been monetized. Just help me, my friend. Thank you. After cleaning the LVDS ribbon flex and the top board, we will plug in the TV and see if there is a change in his picture. The picture or display of this sharp LED TV is still the same. Let's unplug the TV and let's get to the more difficult part of fixing this LED TV. Those who have experience with problems like this can easily determine where to start and what to do. So I said it's hard because like you, my friend, I'm also a newbie. Let's look for his clocking signals on both sides. This panel doesn't have side COF, so let's focus on the clocking signals or clocking voltages. If you notice those rectangular shapes, those are the clocking voltage test points. Now, let's cut off all the clocking voltage on this side and see if there is a change in the picture. If nothing happens, we will move to the other side. We scratched it to make it easier to cut and quickly solder the line back in case I cut the wrong side. If I'm not mistaken, I cut the six clocking voltages from CKV1 to CKV6, including the two negative supplies. Correct me if I'm wrong, my friend. I'll just remove everything on top of this TV and let's plug it in to see if there is any change or not.
The Sharp logo does not move or flicker anymore. Let's track it for a long time. By the way, I called my fellow technician. He said that this TV is for his personal use and that he already knows that. The picture is really upside down. So we will not deal with the fact that the picture on this TV is upside down. The no signal appears. But there is still a problem with the picture if you notice that the picture changes color. But there is no more flicker in his display or picture. Let's put an input signal so you can see better. What I'm saying is another problem. To fix this type of problem, let's restore or resolder the negative supply that we cut. I have resoldered the two negative supplies that we cut earlier. Now, let's measure the voltage of what I said we returned. The negative supply, watch carefully. In the line we resoldered, we measured negative 10 volts DC. Now, let's look at the picture to see if the color doesn't change and there are no other problems. The picture of this TV is okay. It's back to how it was before. The flicker, double image is gone and the color hasn't changed. But the fact that the display or picture is upside down. We will not fix it because our fellow technician does not want to return it to the original position, because it is only for his personal use. Let's do a final test. And before we give this TV to my fellow technician, we will test it for a long time. This is Jovit Tech PH. Thank you for watching.